Hey guys, I'm Brandon and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a great, great video planned for you today. Right behind me is a very, very neglected 2009 Nissan Sentra. And today we're going to be spending about eight hours detailing this vehicle. And you might be asking, hey Brandon, why are you going to spend eight hours detailing a 2009 Sentra? Well, this particular vehicle is very special to me because it's going to be on my car rental fleet so we're gonna give it everything we got so we can get it back to tip-top shape and that's gonna involve a headlight restoration we're gonna do an engine bay cleaning we're gonna give it a clay bar we're gonna do a machine polishing we're gonna put on some wax and then we're gonna do a deep interior clean and being a detailer right now we have unlimited resources to restore this vehicle back to factory condition so let's get started guys before we get started working on this thing let me show you the terrible terrible condition it is in and that will give you a better idea of the transformation so we got a ton of leaves caked on right here in the gutters and you can see the engine is in terrible shape. It has probably never been cleaned. We have the headlights that are completely frosted over and yellow. And on the door handles, we have a bunch of uh, problems with the uh, clear coat decaying. And you can see the paint is in dire shape. We have more clear coat damage here. We have scratches like this around the whole vehicle. And the interior for the most part is not that terrible. So we'll be able to save quite a bit of time on the interior and use that extra time working on the exterior since there is not much damage inside. This paint is going to be extremely difficult to get clean. These contaminants have been caked on for months and months and months. And this dust you see, it is not just dust. It is a thick layer of hardened crust. And when you touch it, it feels like sandpaper. So during the wash process, we're going to have to give an added effort in order to remove as much of this as possible. This is going to be a lot of hard work today, but the transformation process of this nasty Nissan is going to be incredibly satisfying. So sit back and enjoy the show. Stick with us to the end and you will be amazed by the results. Here I have two paired 2500 watt Westinghouse inverter generators with a combination of 5000 starting watts producing up to 30 amps. Engine bay cleaning should be performed every 5 to 10,000 miles or maximum of 6 months. Cleaning your engine bay is an important part of car maintenance. It will help prevent rust and corrosion, maintain your car's value, and make it look better. When 
pressure washing the engine, I'm always sure that I do not direct my pressure washer screen for any longer than a one to two second duration on any one component. This will ensure the safety of the critical components that make up your engine, particularly the fuse box, electrical plugs, and the battery. I forgot to mention, second step is rinsing off. Okay, third step is to degrease the engine, and we're gonna go ahead and use 100% super clean. We're not gonna dilute it at all. Super Clean is a very powerful and effective product. It can be used in a variety of situations. At its low price, it makes this chemical at the top of my list, going at $9.99 for one gallon. Super Clean is one of the most powerful engine degreasers I've ever used, but it has a variety of applications such as carpet cleaning, all-purpose cleaning for interiors and mixing ratios from half and half to three to one or 100%. Now the reason we're not diluting this is because this engine is filthy, so we don't want to. We want a maximum strength. Right, guys I think we've agitated enough so we so far we blew off the leaves with the first step second we rinsed then we sprayed on it uh, engine degreaser for third and the fourth step we agitated with some brushes and before we finish agitating and cleaning all the components with the brushes we're gonna give it another rinse to see what we have left
The blower I'm using is a Milwaukee M18 fuel, 120 miles per hour, 450 CFM, 18 volt lithium ion brushless cordless handheld blower. There are different attachments available for this unit, such as a stubby nose barrel for the tip in place of this long barrel you see here. This blower has been more power than I've ever needed in all the situations I've used it in so far. The battery and motor are incredibly durable. It's an all around great product and I'm extremely satisfied with it so far. So now that the engine is all dry, we're going to let it air dry some more and we're going to add some plastic protection all, all over the components. Okay, now we're going to give the car a quick wash. For my pressure washer system, I am using a MTM SGS28 pressure washer wand with an MTM 40 degree 3.5 orifice accompanied by a very narrow, durable, and pliable 50 foot hose on an automatic retractable 50 foot cox reel powered by an electric Krenzla 1622 TS pressure washer that outputs 1600 PSI with approximately 2 gallons per minute. This setup is specially engineered for auto detail. Alright, now that the car is rinsed, we're going to get our soap bucket ready and then we're going to hit it with the foam cannon. First try, first time trying out the CarPro reset. Very excited to try this out. Hydro foam cannon, and I have approximately one ounce of Car Pro Reset mixed with four ounces of water for the mixing ratio. One good thing about doing a foam wash before the hand wash is that it adds lubrication to your wash mitt when washing the vehicle. Now this car is so dirty that I'm going to go over it twice with the foam cannon and twice with the hand wash. It's been sitting for about a year so it hasn't been washed in that long. So just to be extra sure, remove as much contaminants as I can to make the clay bar process easier. So I'm going to double or triple wash it.
you know what would be awesome? If I had a little help detailing this car. Here's the condition of the paint so far after the shampoo. Damn. This looks like the hood of a cop car. Okay guys, so now that the wash is finished, and I think the engine should be dry now, so we're gonna go ahead and dress the engine and then get to the clay bar process. And today I'm gonna be using Viper dressing by PNS. And we're just going to go ahead and spray all the plastic components. Next, we're going to blow out the trunk. And we should have done this before the wash, but this car was so disgustingly dirty that our focus was drawn to other areas as we started to miss steps in the process. So far, we have already been going at it for an hour and have only begun to scratch the surface. And then we're gonna let this air dry and we'll come back to it if we need to wipe it down. Okay guys, so we're gonna start the clay process, but it's really, really hot out. So the clay bar is beginning to break up a little bit. So after this panel, we're gonna bring it to a carport. Okay guys, so we made it into the carport. 
Out in the sun, the clay bar was beginning to melt away and I doubt the effectiveness that it was having on the paint. So I wanted to bring it into a cool surface and I'm gonna go ahead and clay bar the rest of the car and then we're gonna move on to polishing the headlights. Do a little bit of headlight restoration. Are you guys obsessed with self-employment? Are you fixated with eliminating your day job and having the freedom and luxury of being your own boss? Well, perfect, because that's exactly what I'm trying to do with this channel, with this detail company, and with my car rental business. So if you're interested in learning about all the tips and tricks as I transform from working a 40-hour week delivery job to a full-time business owner, then please give this channel a subscribe and you won't regret it. Stay tuned because in the near future, we have a wash bay coming, a warehouse, and up to 30 rental cars added to our fleet that you won't want to miss. Okay guys, so like I said, this is a 2009 Nissan Sentra, and it's gonna be going on kind of a lower end platform. It's called Hire Car. It's another rental platform, just like Turo. But Turo, I have more higher end cars. On the higher car, I have lower, lower end cars that are 12 years or older with, uh, with 120,000 miles or more. So like I said, it's an older car. We're not gonna spend too much time doing the details. We're gonna do a one step polish on everything. We're gonna try and breeze through these headlights really quick. And from there, we're gonna try and wrap the day up and wrap the video up too.
Okay guys, so we just finished the headlights. Now we're gonna move on to the hood. And you see that there's a lot of splatter here from the wet sanding with the headlights. That's okay, because we're about to polish the hood too. Yes, we made a little bit of a mess for ourselves. We could have masked off the, the windshield and we could have uh, been a little more careful as we were polishing the headlights. Uh, so just to let, give you an idea of what we're using, we're using a Milwaukee DA polisher. It works off the M18 battery system, which is one of the most powerful batteries in the world. It can last up to an hour and a half. Um, this is a brushless, has a brushless motor on it. This is one of the most powerful DAs you can get. I'm using a uh, heavy cutting polishing pad with a uh, one step compound of wires. And you don't want to burn out your pads, so you want to keep them looped up. So I'm using uh, something by Chemical Guys for that. And all right, let's get to it. Let's do this one step polish and get this baby looking a lot better. This car is going to love me after this. Compared to what it was before I started working on it today, it's going to be immaculate. And over the course of the next couple months, as I do maintenance washes on this, I'll continue to enhance the quality of its appearance. Now you can spray this on before or after you apply the compound. It really doesn't matter as long as it's lubed up. wondering, Brandon, what are you doing? Well, this hood has been caked on, so I'm giving it a good go. And there's a lot of polish on here, a lot of lube. And I just want it to dry up a little bit before I wipe it off. There we go. So you don't want this stuff to dry, and you definitely don't want to uh, use too much. But when time is of the essence, you want to try and get a big surface done. And I'm not working in small sections. I usually don't work in small sections. 
unless it's a, an immaculate car and I'm doing paint correction on it. Uh, but for a polish, it's gonna go quick. I'm thankful today we had a babysitter because Elizabeth was able to help out with some of the minor details or else this would have easily been a 16 hour job but with her we were able to breeze right through it. Okay, so what my wife Elizabeth is doing right now is she's spraying down the panels with an alcohol solution and she's removing any of the compound. And I'm one step ahead of her doing the one step on all the panels. And we are moving along nicely. The paint is actually looking worse as we remove everything. There's a lot of damage. So we're going to have to go through each little ding and touch it up with touch up paint. So we're gonna be doing some further cosmetics, but uh, we're getting there. With the condition of this paint, this car could have had 2,000 hours of polishing and to no avail. But this car did need some serious, serious paint correction with multiple steps. But with the value of this car, it is just simply not worth it. This simple makeover is going to give this vehicle a phenomenal facelift and will be presentable enough. Leave a comment below. What would you guys have done with this situation? I answer all the comments and they're all appreciated. I don't know about you guys, but there are a lot of products out there, but Meguiar's is one of my favorite. 
They take the cake in so many different areas with so many amazing products. This heavy cutting polishing compound is seriously a miracle product. It produces quality results with such minimal effort. I'm pretty much a fan all around with Meguiar's polishing compounds. Just wanted to jump on here real quick and let you guys know that this one full charge battery lasted the entire car polishing all the panels except for this panel and this panel and the roof and I did some of the glass as well and polishing the two headlights and the rear tail lights this isn't a Milwaukee commercial but maybe it is <laughs> but yeah this M18 is super powerful stuff and I absolutely love them Now, is it necessary to polish these rear lights? Probably not, but I wanted it to look good and it gave it a nice gloss. There is not much we can do about these severe and deep scratches, but at least we polished off a few of the contaminants. You guys are probably wondering, why am I polishing all of the glass? Well, the glass has a lot of etched on contaminants and is very hazy. And to give the windows some clarity, I am attempting to level out all the buildup from years of neglect. For those of you who don't know, there is an entire art into polishing glass. You can remove multiple things like swirl marks, scratches, and damage that is embedded into glass. It is very tedious, but with time and experience, you can restore damaged glass to a flawless condition.
you can begin to see why auto detailing and mobile detailing is not your average car wash. Oh, we forgot the door jams, but Elizabeth has something for that. Yeah, we'll take care of that real quick. And as you guys can see, the interior is not that bad. And this video is getting a little bit long. We're getting tired. So we're not gonna touch the interior today. We're gonna save that for another day. But we're very satisfied with the results coming and we will show you guys the reveal soon. Okay, so we're moving on to some of the um, cosmetic parts of the vehicle. And we're not gonna think too much about how we're gonna repair this. And I got a pretty good idea of how I want to do it. bad the black spray paint just about dried and this is what it looks like still has a little bit to dry down here but very nice results um, now I'm going to do some more cosmetic work we have a bunch of little white things little nicks in the paint all over so to lessen all of the cosmetic damage i'm going to try and touch up as much as i can just to give an overall better effect because there is quite a lot and it all adds up and it just starts to deflect the eye on the positivity of this car this car has a lot of potential it's going to be a workhorse and it's gonna be making us a lot of money. Um, it's gonna go on a app called Higher Car. That's H-Y-R-E-C-A-R, -E Higher Car. You can um, download the app and be a, a renter by using the app. Or if you download, if you go on their web browser, you can sign up and be an owner and rent out a vehicle and make money off it. Higher car generally caters to working men, working the working people that are needing a car for Instacart or DoorDash or Uber. Um, so this car is going is getting prepared to probably go out and help someone earn some money doing Uber or Instacart or any type of app that involves driving around. It says universal black touch up paint. Pick it up at any auto zone. My brush did a split here. Kind of double sided. Just dab it. Right here. Okay, there's two down. 2,000 to go. Let's do one right here. Okay, there's one. Another. All right, it's already looking better. Let's move over to this panel here. There's one. Oh, out of, out of paint. Right. 
Now, if you guys are smart, you would probably cut this little brush that's hanging off, right? Just trim that off with some scissors, but I'm in a rush like usual, and we just want to get this done. So, but just a quick note, guys, if you guys do want to invest in some touch-up paint and you could offer it as a service to your clients, you just got to be very, very careful. There is a, uh, little pen here. It doesn't work as good as the brush, but here's this mark as well, which when this stuff dries, oh my God, guys, it looks so good compared to what it was before. Elizabeth is doing some of the finishing touches, applying some tire dressing by Ultra Clean. And we've been working on this thing for about six hours now. And I feel like we got it maybe 50% better. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Tell, tell us how we did. Um, I feel like this thing needs a lot more work. We're about to put on some bead maker. So as you guys can see, the Viper dressing dried quite nicely after applying it earlier. It's a little glossy. I need to dilute it a little better next time. I'm still playing around with that product, but I like it very much. Um, it's great value for the money. And the engine is looking fantastic. As a mobile detailer, a engine bay cleaning is an excellent add-on for your client. Not only does it benefit you as earning some extra cash per job, but it also assists the client by preventing their engine components from deteriorating faster by cleansing and protecting all the plastics. A generous price offer is generally $45 to $65 per cleaning. Elizabeth, are you tired? <laughs> It's hard work, huh? <laughs> no comment. There you have it, guys. Let me know if you like seeing my wife and I detailing together. Maybe we'll do another video like that. But I thank her for participating. This video was a little bit different for you guys. Um, I wanted to have a video with kind of like a cameraman style point of view. So instead of me doing the tripod angles, we went ahead and had some uh, cameraman angles. And we used a ton of towels on this filthy, filthy Nissan. And it's looking pretty good. Let's get to that bead maker. And like I said, there's gonna be a lot of work to go for this little economy car but i plan to restore it as much as i can without making it look too bad but you know there's only so much we can do fun fact about this car it was actually in service as a rental car for approximately one year before it was parked this previous year prior to that it was managed by the owner gill who owns a used car business and found himself too busy to operate his rental car ambitions. So we decided to team up and he handed the car over to me to build a giant fleet together. With his used car connections, dealer license, he has an endless supply of cars just like this. We plan to add a new car to this fleet one after another until we reach up to 30 vehicles. Stay tuned for the monstrosity of what is about to come. I was wondering if you guys can tell that this back half has bead maker and this doesn't. This whole side has bead maker. Now this steering wheel is beginning to deteriorate and just for user experience, I don't want 
my renters to have to deal with this crusty steering wheel. You know, you're driving around all day for work. Um, you definitely don't want to feel that. So I picked up one of these steering wheel covers. It's by Pro Elite and you can pick it up at any AutoZone. I have it on a couple of my other uh, cars and I highly, highly recommend this exact model. Um, I just love this one. It's it's virtually indestructible and it's uh, made by some weird product. It says, warning, this product can expose you to chemicals including blah, 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 and can cause cancer and birth defects. Well, you know what, guys? That's probably why it's indestructible. But it's a very well-made steering wheel cover and I swear by these things. Ooh, I like the way that looks. What do you think? You approve? All right. That is the last finishing touch and we'll do the interior next time. Hey babe, why don't you pull it out for us, please? Look at the before and after, guys. I swear, I would even drive this car myself. After the cleaning, this car is good enough now for your mother, your sister, or your daughter. It has been restored to a nice condition and can easily be maintained now. This car presented so many challenges, but we enjoyed every little bit of it. All right, that's the end of today's video. I thank you guys so much for watching. And hey, if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret. This channel has a lot of exciting things coming. And after eight hours of working on this vehicle all day, we are extremely famished. So we're gonna take this nicely clean, detailed Nissan across the street and get some pho noodles. And Hey guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Or wait, is Pa this way? Or no, it's this way. This way. Alright guys, bye.